You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Under the patronage of the first vice president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the sixth race of the season at the club racetrack in Rafah Sakhir. It was held for the Cups of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and the Cups of His Highness's sons, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The National Day Cup sponsored by the Ministry of Information and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Cups. Also present were Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Hamid bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hashim bin Hamid bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Hamid bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Ali bin Hamid bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi. The race comprised nine events. On behalf of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa crowned the winners of the Cups of His Highness and his sons, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed Rumehi, presented the National Day Cup and the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the club's cups to the winners. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, has nominated SCW member Her Highness Sheikha Hissa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa to chair the Women in Financial Technology or FinTech Bahrain Committee. The Economic Development Board, the EDB, established the committee but transferred its affiliation to the SCW. The panel will focus on implementing the priorities of the National Initiative for Gender Equality in the field of future sciences, announced by the SCW as one of the fruits of the Bahraini Women's Day 2019 theme women in the field of higher education and future sciences. The committee will focus on implementing the royal vision on being fully prepared to deal with the requirements of digital economy in accordance with the national efforts to keep pace with the emerging trends in the fields of digitization and modern sciences, which were emphasized by the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030, aiming to increase productivity and innovation as well as creating new promising job opportunities. During the first meeting chaired by His Her Highness Sheikha Hassab bin Khalifa, the committee focused on the SCW's role in following up on women's advancement and reviewed the national gender equality model. It also highlighted the Women in Fintech Bahrain Committee's terms of references and priorities in 2021. The meeting also reviewed the recommendations of the report on gender equality in the field of fintech issued based on studies conducted recently by the SEW in partnership with the Bahrain Fintech Bay. The report will contribute to proposing development opportunities and reaching solutions to developing Bahraini women's expertise and skills in the field of banking technology. Based on its formation edict, the Women in Fintech Bahrain Committee shall propose public policies pertaining to encouraging and increasing women's competitive potential in fields of future sciences, particularly fintech, in a way that contributes to achieving gender equality in this field. It shall also propose the necessary programs, initiatives and systems to develop services related to the requirements of technological development and digital transformation in the field of fintech in addition to mechanisms of promoting promising fintech creative projects and the financing criteria of emerging fintech companies. The panel also provides consultations regarding digital knowledge management and using the national expertise to develop skills encourages national expertise in the field of fintech, documents the national efforts to implement the National Gender Equality Initiative in the field of future sciences and highlights Bahraini women's success stories in fintech. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, held a telephone call with his Moroccan counterpart, Nasser Boreta. They underlined the depth of fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Morocco and reviewed ways of boosting bilateral cooperation at all levels. Dr. Zayani also expressed sincere congratulations to Morocco after the announcement made by the U.S. President Donald Trump recognizing the sovereignty of the Kingdom of Morocco over the Moroccan Sahara region, the opening of an American consulate in the city of Dakhla. He also congratulated Morocco on its decision to resume contacts and diplomatic relations with the State of Israel, affirming that these steps enhance the chances of achieving lasting peace and stability in the region. For his part, the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation stressed his country's appreciation of the fraternal stances of the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting the efforts to ensure Morocco's security, stability and prosperity. He described those stances as an embodiment of historical relations between both countries and continuous keenness on close cooperation at various levels. He wished the Kingdom of Bahrain continued prosperity and progress. 
The World Customs Organization announced that President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has won the presidency of the organization's council by acclamation to become the third Arab to hold this high position in the organization. The announcement was made during the 137th Extraordinary Session of the Council that was held via video conference with the participation of 183 member states. On this occasion, Sheikh Ahmed congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, noting that this victory came as a result of the constant support to Bahraini cadres. He also expressed his pride in this Bahraini achievement that reflect the international status of the kingdom. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the meeting of the Senior Officials Committee of the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, held virtually under the chairmanship of the First Deputy Minister and Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Shahrat Norsayev. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Khalifa expressed his thanks to the Republic of Tajikistan for its presidency of the SICA conference during the last period and for its efforts in promoting the work of the gathering. He also congratulated the Republic of Kazakhstan on assuming the presidency of the conference. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's appreciation for the efforts made by SICA to build confidence and cooperation in Asia, including the inclusion of the new confidence building measure, cooperation in the field of healthcare, epidemiological safety, and pharmaceuticals. The concern that member states are paying to face the consequences of the COVID 19 to develop joint cooperation in broader ways at all levels. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Khalifa indicated the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, believes that the interests and goals of Asian countries are common and united in light of what unites them in terms of values and ties that contribute to promoting peace, development, and prosperity. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for International Affairs reviewed the measures taken by the Kingdom of Bahrain to confront COVID 19, noting the impressive success achieved by Team Bahrain led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah Al Khalifa stated that the Kingdom has provided comprehensive and free health care for all citizens and residents out of its belief in the unity of common human values. Dr. Sheikh Abdullah affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's support for SICA and the development of its work with a modern vision in order to contribute to building a new Asia, enable the convergence of individuals, ideas and cultures and support sustainable development in the interests and well-being of the people of the Assembly. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,606 active cases with 183 recoveries and 188 registered new cases. 108 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 71 are contacts of active cases and 9 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.